I didn't even comb my head or nothing. You can yeah. really do that. Um, look at Come on. Hello. I'll need no one's going to show up because we didn't I even put a thing on. Oh, you did? Okay. I haven't gotten notified yet, though. Let's see. You should, right? I have not yet. Nobody, nobody's on here. No one's got notified. Why not? We're live. There's Tigner Adventures. They're here. <laughs> How would they know we're having a live? I don't know. You are so prompt. There we go. Did you get it? Just did. did you? Okay. Hey, Tigners. Well, just you guys Welcome. and us. So where are you guys at? Thumbs up. <laughs> oh, we got three. There's Mark. Hey, Mark. Bostine. Very good. Had to think about it for a minute. That hurt. <laughs> yeah, Tigners, you guys were first. Phil's here. Hey, Phil. Yeah, but that that's they're cheating because they're sitting right there. <laughs> they're sitting right there. They're here for the uh, they're here for the eclipse tomorrow. It's gonna be pretty exciting. It's gonna come right over us, directly over us, and when it gets here, it's gonna stall for a couple hours. Yeah, just just for and then, us. And then it's gonna go again. Total eclipse of the sun. I'll let it go. I won't let it stay too long. We got seven people. Say hi, guys. Waiting for some more people to get here. Okay, Only three people have said hi, and I know who the fourth one is, who are the fifth, sixth, and seventh. Yeah. Just say hi. Yeah. Me? Whoever you are, say hi. We want to know who you are tonight. Got Just in case the world ends tomorrow, tomorrow, right? Is yeah, it tomorrow it's supposed to end? Mark, what, did, uh, what are the results? Tyler Johnson. Hi, hey, Mr. Tyler, Tyler Johnson. TJ, do people call you TJ Tyler? Only once. Yeah, my <laughs> mom called me that one time. Only once. Anybody I mean, else? Nobody else. Mark, when it. I ask you what the results were, like you don't have to go into detail. Just tell us if it was good or bad. I mean, unless you want to. Not good. Not good. Oh, no. Okay, got to send us some fingernails. Yeah. Send us some fingernails. We'll give you an address. There's Mr. Two Eggs. Hey, Jason. Hey, Amanda. Lonely Hitchhiker Cat. Howdy. Howdy, hey. Bill and Dalla. Dalla. Leo Her. Yo. Julio. Yo, Colorado. Colorado. Colorado Julio. I'll message me. You. Thank okay. you, Mark. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll we're gonna have to get another machine, aren't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need one more machine. Mm -hmm. But it would be worth it because we can at least help people. We want to. We still we're still killing ants, so it's working really good. We don't want to stop that yet. Peptic. Hey, hey guys. Will and Whitney. There you are. You, see, you could be here watching the <laughs> the eclipse tomorrow. Yeah. That was uh what was her name? You guys know that? Yeah, but it's totally like Blondie or time. someone like that, you know. Part of the lyrics? Yeah. I don't remember it. Yeah, I do. Oh, uh, chicken curry tonight, yeah. Yeah, I made hamburgers for the 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 Tigner Adventures. They came in uh, around three o'clock this afternoon. Darla and I, I spent the morning. I washed the car, and then I decided, well, I'm gonna wax the hood, just the hood. So I waxed the hood. It looked pretty good. I thought, well, let me just do the front fenders and the front <laughs> of the car. So I did that, and then I got in the car to move it and as I started to move it I go wow that looks really good so then I backed it up because I got the awning out so it would be in the shade so I started doing the size yeah my nose is 
I, I got a frequency going. We're trying to get rid of this polyp, so it does make my nose run. Anyway, uh, so then I started doing the sides, and I did the back, and I did the other side. And I go, well, you know, I got the ceramic coating. <laughs> One thing led to another. So I put the ceramic coating, and that really, hey, man, Daddy. looks hot. Harbor all the tires. So the car is all detailed. And we went over to Sonic and got a couple of hot dogs and iced tea and then came back. Cage is here. Yeah. great burgers. Yeah. So do I. Yeah. <laughs> all he did was cook them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dinner was good. Hey, Terry. Terry Burns. Hey, Wes. KG says hi. Come here, KG. Come here. Come here, KG. Come here. Come here. Come here. Be good boy. Bill had curry once. I did not like it. <laughs> but it was, believe me, the solar eclipse would be cooler than that bowl of <laughs> curry I had. Say hi. Look, look everybody's looking. They want to see you. Stopped up one side only. Ah, no fun. We need two machines. <laughs> we need another one for this guy. Yeah. yeah. Pickle boy. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to go blind tomorrow. No, we're not going blind. No, we have our glasses. Did you not get yours? I think the Tigers have, have some more. We had a 60-mile-an-hour wind yesterday and last night. No. My sister lives in Colorado Springs, and she said that, too. Really bad wind. She said it was 48, but it, because of the wind, it felt like 40. And while we were doing the car, Cage was eating sticks. And we saw our first snake on our property yesterday. Yeah. Legit snake. A legit we've seen a, we've snake. We've seen a snake skin, but not a legit yeah. snake. She thought it was dead. Cage thought it was dead. Was, there at all. Cage was standing on it and Hi, walking all Steve. over it. He didn't even know. Hi, Steve. Hey, Steve. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we're ready. So I, I grabbed a rake out of the, it was by the shed. And I grabbed a rake and I was going to. I thought, well, okay, it's dead. I'm just, I'm not gonna grab it just in case. And I went to hook on it, and it took off. It was just a garter mm -hmm. snake. It wasn't anything scary. So. Signature have two extra sets and a phone mask. So nobody's gonna go blind here, including Cage. Yeah. So they two eggs. They got a extra extra glasses. Hey Seymour, hello from Tennessee. Hope you're doing well. We're doing good. Hey, hey you Ron. can wear them when you're driving home. Ron Darrell. Where is he? Oh, hey, Ron. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Tim Baxley. Glad to see you guys on here. My, I have been, well, I went on rods the other night, but man, my sleeping thing has been just crazy, crazy, crazy. So I, I can't sleep. I'm in bed. I can't sleep. Like around three o'clock, I get up. So I come out here and I sit down and I, Make coffee. I drink some co tests to do I all that. Stuff. To watch. Start start drinking coffee. And the next thing I know, I'm, I'm sleeping. Caffeine <laughs> makes you sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so anyway. Hey Louie. Hey Barb. There they are. Okay. Mount Wait, Laurel. Not bad. You're not that late anyway. Hi Mountain Laurel. Yeah. Hopefully you're not buffering. <laughs> Great. Oh, my we are were good. almost late so tonight. Happy to hear that, Ron. We were out here. We made threw some burgers on the Daddy. on the barbecue and Ron's test came back good. All right. Yeah, I knew he would. He's too honored to be sick. He's close Mark. Yeah. He's just too honorary, not too honorary <laughs> to be sick. So although we'll see how this uh how this eclipse goes it's supposed to go right over us here we're, and if we we kept here there was going to be fifty thousand people here we went over to town today and there was maybe a few more and not many but supposedly they're all coming in tonight i still can't say that i've heard the highway be that busy though know? i don't know we'll see yeah maybe they're coming by train they might yeah except all the trains come from that way going that way mostly Let's see. Everyone hit the thumbs up when you come in. Thanks, Lonely Hitchhiker. Thank you. Yep. Uh, 
I don't know. Post a video of the Falcon and launch last night. Cool to watch. Yeah, um, Mega Man Mike did that. Post a picture on my Facebook. I saw that too. See? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that way. I'll be. Okay, Rod, you got to rewrite that <laughs> one because we don't. Sort of that way. I'll be out sort of that way. Sort of. Um, hey, Amanda. We went to town today. No busier than usual. That's that's what we thought, too. I'm about six to eight minutes late getting here this yeah. evening. No big deal, Laurel. We're just talking about the eclipse. and. We're just talking about Laurel, so now we got to stop. <laughs> but you know, when, you don't, when, you're late. When, when you're late, man, we talk about you. Fair game. Yeah. I tanked till 78. Oh, no, just kidding. We're just kidding. Follow oh, both sort of on rebuild. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. But you, you're the expert. I'm still learning. No buffering yet. That's good. Yeah. It's really good. Mm -hmm. We even got a filter for the camera on the phone. Oh. Yeah. I think that's what. Tigners just say they have a mask for the camera. I, I didn't know they had those. Hey, Katie. Lunchtime. They have a little thing that you just kind of like squeeze it, put it on the thing, but I don't know. Rocky getting on keyboards. Uh oh. What do you play? Keyboards? Ron? No. Oh, on the computer. <laughs> I don't know, he could. You have a Boston, you know. Yeah, the camera is more sensitive than our <laughs> eyes, so you can't just use glasses. Really? So, so, Rod, let me ask you this. Who types better, you or Rocky? <laughs> <laughs> I think that last comment looks like maybe Rocky. <laughs> Handy hardware, we sold them out. Really? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Andy Hardware, we sold that out. Uh, Rocky. Yeah, Cage. Cage was he was all in on eating sticks today. I don't know what the deal was. He likes to chew. But he, I'm telling you, he wasn't eating the sticks. He was just pulling them off, pulling the bark off, and then. Yeah, but one of these days he's going to go over to chew out a stick, and it's going to be a snake. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't sit on one first. Dog. He's better looking too. <laughs> I don't know. Look at Cage. What a what are you doing, so you goofball? Did everybody get their um you eclipse just shirt? No. 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 Eclipse shirt. Yeah, everybody's gotta get the eclipse shirt. <laughs> everyone's getting them. Everyone's selling them in town. I didn't get the mustard on my shirt, did I? No. Nope. Good. She makes there's baby. Hey baby. She makes her hey, she makes our uh mayonnaise. And it's basically a transporter for the mustard to my shirt. <laughs> the clip's supposed to be pretty good here in Waco. I think so too. I believe it is. Nope, didn't didn't see the shirt thing. Carmelo is complaining. <laughs> no, no shirt. Uh, We're supposed to have some more people here, but they're not going to be able to make it. They're in Texas. They'll still see the eclipse there. Yeah. They'll be here Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday. And then, and then after that, then Dave and Esther will be here. Really? In a few days. Yeah, they're okay. coming here on their way to do fireworks. Oh. Very good. And we still we're almost out of fireworks stores. So, so if you guys want one, you better let us know. They'll post it on our Facebook page. If any of you guys are in our Facebook group page, um, Economic Refugees RV Group Facebook page, that we had some locations for fireworks still open and available. And Facebook let me know that that was a big no-no to yeah. say the word fireworks. Yeah. Can't say that. Yeah. So Can't say that word. I put it back on and said, what did I say? Locations for that's the bomb, isn't that what no, you said? No, I can't say that either. <laughs> Locations for fireworks, I'm like, 
applications for selling night sky celebration colors. <laughs> There's Ron. Ron Silva. Ronald hey, Silva. Ronald Silva. So that maybe the Tigders right there? Nope. Didn't do that. They're maybe sitting they're right shirt. over here. Oh. Yeah, maybe they they're here. They're right yeah. over there. Yeah. And I know at least one of them might come over and make a surprise. Hey. Why are we being punished? Because. Say boom boom sticks. Yeah, I don't even think you can say boom boom honestly. And they they threatened us too and said you get too many um, notifications like this and your whole page can be taken away forever. Yeah. There's uh there's Charlie and Diane. Indeed, you guys want to do a fireworks, a boom boom store? <laughs> yeah, I'll only get one close to where you live. Yeah, I I still have I have a a short term store with air and everything, and it will have a off site full hookup camp, be it a campground paid for, paid for, and then we have a couple of thirty day tents. So it'll be 30 days for the store, 30 days for two of the tents. And that's all the tents. We're out of tents. And I think we'll, I think right now we only have two more stores. Yeah. That's cool. Hopefully, uh, we're, we're still a, uh, Country. Democratic Repu Democrat Republic. Not Democratic. Democrat Democrat Re or Democratic Republic, right? Hopefully, we're a free nation. So. Free nation. We're not <laughs> in a in a bad way. Anywho, it's a nice day here today, though. Not in Laurel. There was a heavy frost here this morning. Hopefully, it'll be a little warmer this week. Yeah. That's the hope. I mean, average, it's going to be June before it's like warm temps, you know? Well, you get, you get 10% of what you sell. On the growth. On the, on the growth. The You're right. So you get, it's actually more. And, uh, oh, most of the stores do pretty good. I think we, our store is probably one of the, not as good as most, huh? Mm -hmm. You know, but we like ours. We like the people. Hi, Rosebud. Hi, Rosebud. We are a republic, correct? Yeah, well, they say democratic tomorrow. republic, but it all comes down to representatives and all that. We got to get rid of some of them, too. <laughs> a lot of them. And a lot of them have an R after their name. Mm -hmm. Southern Illinois Prepper. Oh, I've seen him before. Hello, we'll see. You see the, it, the you eclipse. See you bet we yeah, are. Yeah, we're right in the path of. Totality. Yeah, we should see so, it. And that the skies are supposed to stay pretty clear until about seven? yeah seven or eight tomorrow night. Then then it's going to start raining. Yeah. And, and then we're going to have a, a bunch of tornadoes and an earthquake. And hey, Scarlet. And uh, the electricity is going to go down, right. and trades are going to derail. Right. Other than that, it's going to be pretty nice. Down, and there will be a rapture. And what else? <laughs> I've heard it all. Not making fun. I'm just saying everybody's throwing in what they think, and I listen to it all. But at the end of the day, any day, God's in control. Well, one thing about it is, is they don't know. Most of the people who are saying that stuff don't know any more than I do. So, yeah, I don't know. They're saying that. What is it? Uh, there's a fault over here. No, uh, I just going to be just traffic. I don't even it's know It's Madrid that. or something like that. The Madrid fault is getting ready to let go. That's that's Who the big thing. That's the one that let go and the caused the Mississippi to run back. I mean, the only persons that are here right now is Tigner Adventures, uh, Dave and Ninette. They're, they're the only ones. Yeah, and, uh, and Two Eggs and, and Mellow Cat are going to come over. But, but the ones that are staying here, Yeah. the only ones that have made it to stay here are Tigner Adventures. The other couple, Lynn and Jones, they're, they'll be here Wednesday or Thursday. So they're gonna, they'll be watching it from where they're at right now. So. And then our other person that was gonna make it, 
she planned on it for over two years and then she wasn't able to make it. So I'm bummed about that for her. We're going to stop by and visit. Yes. Who is? Two eggs. Oh, yeah. Mellow cat. Mega Man Mike's here. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Hey, we hardly uh, had any traffic in Hot Springs this weekend. They were talking like it was going to be a complete gridlock, and no, it didn't happen. And that's what we said. We, but now they're saying it's going to be all tomorrow. Yeah, they're coming in tonight, and it's going to be tomorrow. And I don't know. The manager of the Sonic brought our food out. That we had to. He, he stood there and talked to us for a long time. <laughs> I was surprised. I, I mean, we didn't. Will and Wendy are in California. I know they should be here. I agree. Drove to South Carolina. Hey, Mike. How you doing? Right. Traffic was pretty heavy. Oh, yeah. Traffic was heavy, Ronald. I don't know. Depends on where you're at, I guess. Medarian Fault is around yeah. the Mississippi. But, mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, well, Madeira. I said Madeira. He. Madrid, yeah, I was kind of close. I'm glad you kind of let me know on that. So, you smell something burning? Something burning? Oh, hi, Dave. Entree, <laughs> <laughs> entree. You guys are co they're coming in. Hi, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, yeah, he's not a guard dog. He's, he's an irritating dog. Stick eater. Have a seat. Hello. No, you have a seat. Oh, I have a seat. I have a seat. I have a seat. Have a seat. Yeah, you can sit down, Dave. Oh. <laughs> so, Tara, tell, tell us everything about you. Uh, you were born what year? <laughs> Long time ago. Take your adventures, you guys. This is Dave Hi. and Nanette. <laughs> Check out where we're, we're really here. What? They're were not you, lying. Oh, I was me? just kidding. Oh, okay. I was making kind of a kind of joke. a joke. There. Yeah, yeah. He's always joking. No, I don't. <laughs> we worked next to these guys in the Corsite tent for the last two years, so that's how we met. And now, yeah, they're they're they, the, the story is, I think he was kind of BSing me. He was like, <sighs> when he found out that where we lived, he goes. Well, we were going to go stay at this campground, and they were going to charge us like a thousand bucks. And then they told us we could go in at six o'clock on the day of the solar, so we would miss it. So Can we come yeah. stay at your house? <laughs> I we said, no, no, I'm sorry, we're we're booked yeah, solid. And he goes, solid. no, come on. And so we here they are. All right, we had a reservation, and you said it was like twenty minutes from here. It was ten dollars. <laughs> it costs us ten dollars and then a reservation fee or whatever. So the funny thing is, I you know after I talked to you and I said, oh, okay, so I went and canceled it. I got a dollar twenty five back. Are you kidding? <laughs> that's what we got back on it. Well, that's, but, that's how much we're going to charge you for a reservation. <laughs> okay. So, but anyway, we were um, just going to go stay there, and then we got a notice. I was just telling them, I said, oh, we got a notice. We're going to stay at this campground. We're just staying one night just for the eclipse, but. I thought, you know, in most places you check in like at two o'clock. This one, we it says check in is at six o'clock. It's like, what's the point? <laughs> and so the one that we go to, we're going to be here for a couple nights. And then the one that we go to, which is, um, I think it's Brady's. You know where that one's at? Brady Lake. Brady Lake. Well, we have a nice campground. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's check in at six o'clock too. So oh, let's oh, be in Arkansas. I guess. It's almost the KOA. We have a trade. <laughs> And we have a highway. Oh, yeah, yeah true. So yeah. if you're going to stay at a KOA, it's got to have a train on one side and a highway yeah, on the other. Side, yeah. yeah, but this is a lot cheaper to stay here than <laughs> KOA. Yeah. Well, I think. Well, I we haven't seen the bill yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and you provided dinner. KOA never yeah, provided dinner. I know, dinner. right? Well, this is a pancake shop. We just wanted to come and say. I did. I did. I, she says, we're going to make them dinner. I said, well, why are we doing that? <laughs> Well, we they ate it. it. I made it. They had we, to eat we it. We didn't expect it, and we, you know, but we did appreciate it. Thank yeah. Of course. We've got to do dinner tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, it's, we just wanted to come and uh, We should go to Chicken to Express like. tomorrow. <laughs> you ever been to Chicken Express? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's the best fast food. So, how do you read all those things? 
Just, well, look at how slow it is. We get like, we only have 23 people. It goes pretty slow. And and well, uh, I would and, say that uh, that's good when you're on a live because it's hard to keep up with everybody. I mean, I've seen people that say, "Type your questions in caps letters," because I can't. You know, I don't want to talk. Well, about Ron on about. here his dog does the typing for him. Julio says hot yeah. dog yeah. 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 Mamey says love chicken express. <laughs> yeah. Rosebud says hello. You guys have a good following, so that's good. So yeah, we got great. One thing about it is we got good people on here. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have. We, we have never done a live. I don't even know how to oh, do a live. Oh, you should. I don't yeah. know, kind of well, see, there's it, that's the best thing you can get. See that little camera right well, there? We've been online. Thirty bucks for the camera. Other people's live. Yeah, yeah. It's and easy. and we have a Mac. So it has a camera. Well, so does this. Yeah, but it's not free. Oh, but what happened is everybody was always complaining. Well, it didn't look right. It didn't yeah, sound right. Uh, so I thought, okay, just for a joke, I bought that camera. That thing works pretty good, huh? Yeah. If you think it works good, type one. If you think it sucks, <laughs> type two. Let's see what let's see what kind of a response. Like three, three times. Is this a, a weekly survey you do each week? I was saying their he's channel. been watching videos. What's where... their channel? It's Tigder. Adventures. G -G -N -E -R, adventures. Yeah. Well, we got two ones so far. Yep. Anyway, so the guy was asking, you know, if you the did camera. type one, if you that type Did you hear two, good? Did you? Uh, just to get the comments does it look down, good? Thankful like 78. I think we'll. Thankful 78. We got it somewhere there. Holy a hiker. I The bathroom's <laughs> right over there. <laughs> Kids are still on family calls. Oh, no, you left them? Yeah, I left them. You left the kids so, alone? <laughs> so we actually March start doing three. a family call every year or every Sunday night Yeah. when COVID hit. So every Sunday night, we do a family call. We're, we've been full-time for six years. We're going on our seventh year. And so we have a call with our family, with the kids. I keep telling them they don't want us to come and visit because they don't want you around, right? They got their own lives. Uh, but we do have a call each week and, and just That's check in true. with everybody. And then the, all the kids get to check in with yeah. each other, too. So it works pretty good. Well, you, good I don't know how you do that. You say, you say, what if it's good, two if it sucks, and we got two threes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? You, you do that new math, huh? Is that that uh, new yeah. Common Core stuff? What do they call it? Yeah, Common Core. I'm, just, I'm trying to read the comments. First of all, that's like six feet from me. Yeah. What? That's like six feet? Feels like it. I mean, i got to put my... Julio says the camera looks great, except the I image of Bill. Just... <laughs> Go over there and delete that. People are going to think terrible things. You have funny. this light right in a perfect spot because you come up here and it's shallow. Well... Back here and it's perfect. So you guys have done really good with this. Uh, but I noticed that Bill's got the comfort. Oh, well, yeah. This is, this well, is that's where, where she always sits. I know. I said over there. You see, did you see? There's our... I don't know I don't if everyone could see. see yeah, just lead that way just a little bit. See, there's our there's our uh, there's Rife machines, machines right yeah, there. Yeah. There they are. There's yeah. the computer that runs them. Oh, usually Darla's sitting here. She goes, yeah, right. I yeah. Know, there. Yeah. We need to. <laughs> then I'm usually leaning the wrong Hi, way. Hi, Barry. <laughs> we got to get a couple Hi, more Hi, machines. Randy. We got to get probably two more machines, huh? two yeah. more of the blue ones. Your camera automatically rewinds to yeah. poor Mark. <laughs> Every time he watches. You don't know how hard it is for us to do that, thing. though. Just why. you, Mark. <laughs> you know, we don't we don't want to do it to everybody. You mean to mention that last week, Mark? Thank yes. Yeah. yeah, I told him. I go, you know how hard it is to just get his to just do yeah, that, not yeah, everybody, everybody else. else yeah. so. Anyway, okay. Well, i got to let Darla have her seat back. And uh, I'll go back over. All right. Well, we're glad you came and you come back when you can't stay so long. <laughs> well, I don't mind. I don't want to take over your show, though. It's your show. Yeah. Come on over here. We, we're filling. Uh, we got 32 minutes you. longer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Let's pull the handle okay. to the left. These guys, Study Day Pearls. That's these a new day. are great. Dave. I'll pay you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Nice meeting, everybody. Bye. Now I feel bad about sneezing on this hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Uh oh, Julio's leaving. Mark, you are special. <laughs>
So, well, we kind of burned out the eclipse thing, haven't we? we well, it hasn't happened yet. We told them about the snake. And our guest. And our guest. Think of something quick. Cage is over there like, look, he's on, he's actually on the screen. See him? Right there. Oh, yeah, Hi, Boo. <laughs> Mr. Boo, what are you doing? Still wax the car today. <laughs> yeah. I already told him. And I put a ceramic coating on it. Man. Awesome. Maddie's here. Difference. Hey, Patty, Mom. Maddie. Maddie. Maddie's here. I said hi to Maddie already. I thought you said Patty, Mom. I did. But oh. I thought you said Patty. Hi, Maddie again. <laughs> oh. So they're back. Watch what. Shoot, I, they say it right to your face. And <laughs> it's where they say it over here. Oh, boy. Y'all show love and hit the light. Thank you. Thank you. And Mary Deaver, yeah, I can watch not having to sleep at this time. Cool. I can watch not having to sleep at this time. Yeah, because they're on a gate. Yeah. Sunny day pearl. I'll tell you what, we've had a few gate guards come over to the to the fireworks. I think they'll be really excited. It's actually a fun thing to do. The fireworks. Oh, yeah. It, it, of all the <coughs> work camping jobs we've done, and we've done a bunch, if you've watched us any length of time, this is probably my most favorite. Yeah. Because it's easy, it's really good money, and I don't know, people are nice. And it's not all summer long. Right. Being it, screamed and yelled at by quick. some owner of a campground. And it's just going by, so. Yeah. We work alone. You don't have all by co-workers that do dump do all the load of the work on you, you know. That's a George Thorogood song. George Thorogood? Thorogood. Oh. Said oh, it's I Drink Alone. That's what it is. Not work alone. You work alone. Ah. All right. Cut for there. <laughs> I have a YouTube friend, and she said they woke up to snow on the ground the other day. Nope. It's been, this morning, it was cloudy, and it rained for about five but it minutes. it has not been really cold the last couple no. of nights. No, it's, it's nice it's really right warm. now. we got the door open. Let's see what it is. It is 73 right now, 73.6. So, and then, and then the sun came out for about five minutes, and then it was cloudy for a long time. And then when I decided to go out and start doing the car, then it started getting sunny. Right. So I had to put the awning out. And, well, the rest is history. We will try next year on fireworks. Yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a good gig. It's a lot. It's a lot easier than doing the the gate guard. It really is. Did Bill just say he wears cologne? No. What did you? I don't wear cologne. <laughs> I don't. I still can't wear cologne because it gives me headaches. Um, Julio, she lives near Barstow. I'm sorry. Boy, Barstow is uh, really popping. They're putting that big, huge uh, rail yard thing out there. And then what, <coughs> what they're going to do is they're going to unload the ships and they're going to bring them up and store them in Barstow. Because they're having the some because they're yeah, analyzing the, its port. They can't, they can't keep the stuff straight down there in L.A. and Long Beach and all that area. So, And then they're going to have trucks take it back to L.A. to deliver yeah. it, the L.A. stuff. So. Ronald, it is way better money than gate guarding. It's quicker. It's not 24-7. And the locations that we have available right now, they vary. If you're interested. Um, yeah. Get but, in touch with us, yeah. economicrefugees at gmail.com or PM us on Facebook. The group. Well, it's economicrefugeesrv at gmail.com. Right? Huh? Isn't that what I said? No, you okay. didn't say RV. Anyway. And it, the thing is, uh, all the stores we have left are 30 days. We have. Okay. Let's see. Hey, uh, let me look here. Because that is, we gave up the, 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 last, the last one. 
The guy wanted the Mark, long term. Mark said that when you said you work alone, it sounded like you said you work alone. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes. Oh, I do have, okay. We have one in Indiana. Hi, Emil. And then we have two store. Now, these are stores. Two stores in Illinois. Illinois. Every time I get it. And I, we have uh, a tent in Mount Carmel, and we have a tent in Batoon. What, what state? Illinois. 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 You shouldn't give me any Illinois because I, I have a hard time saying it. Good evening from Bandera, Texas. Emil. Oh, okay. Hi. I've seen you on here at least once before. Rod Adventures is on here. He's uh, he's from uh, Waco. And Maddie's from Shiloh. Who is? Maddie. Maddie's from Shiloh. Yeah, a lot of Texas yeah. people. Yeah, they all want to be in Arkansas. That's what it is. Anyway, Ronald or anybody else that's interested in fireworks, we can tell you w way more information if you like email us and then we can. Yeah, the only one that is longer term. That's left. That's left. And that's May 15th till September 15th is in Indiana. So um, the rest of them are 30 days. You're in and out, and uh, and you either have a full hookup site right next to the location, or a campground off site at a paid for campground with hookups. Right. Which is good. And Mike's a good guy, and they Mike is a great guy. everything is turn turnkey, so you don't have to set up a tent or set up a store. Or you don't have to do any of that. You oh, just and he also says uh, here for the eclipse home to Minnesota in a week or so. Oh, okay. Hopefully it's done snowing by then. <laughs> One of the YouTubers I watched, they got snow within the last couple of days. She's from Minnesota. We used to work in Minnesota. We used to do the sugar, sugar beet harvest at East Grand Forks. Forks. That was a good job, too. And yeah. Up until fireworks, that was my favorite job. My favorite job. Yeah. Well, because you got basically a month off. Well, no, I was a no, foreman. I'm talking about working the job. Yeah, but I I was a foreman. I had to go in and pre harvest. I did pre harvest, and man, they always gave me some really rough jobs to do. And then and then and then when the harvest started, she would work at the scale house. Yeah, which was nice and clean and warm and comfortable. Twelve hour shifts, but yeah, and it's. Uh, <laughs> It's it's uh twelve hour shift seven days a week and you're it's so hard. It's and it's over. cold and it's it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. But it you know, when you if you're younger we had some older guys that were doing it, including myself, and it, it just was uh I'd say if you're if you're over sixty years old, you're probably pushing it. The daytime couple in Colorado maybe says they're trying sugar beets. Yeah. Just make sure they go through uh, Express employment. Yeah, well, try. I'm sure they've already got their. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they don't. I'll I'll talk to you about that, Mimi. Hopefully they got their paperwork and stuff in. They need to do that soon if they haven't yet. Snow is almost gone. <laughs> well, Memorial Weekend, Mark. You're not going to be able to do a tent if you're in or if you're in Minnesota, Who? Mark. Mark's not talking about doing a tent. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hello, all. Paul Freed. Hey, Paul. From Pennsylvania. We just had an earthquake on Friday morning at 1030. Yeah. It was 2.8. We're just fine. It was my first one. I was like, wow. Yeah, we're from California. Yeah. So <laughs> we still say wow. <laughs> we have an earthquake. I don't know. Say what you want about tornadoes, but at least you get warning of those. Earthquakes, you don't get warning. They just when you get, see, I don't care. When you them. look down the hallway of your house, your door jabs are going like this. That's a bad and one. And the floor is doing this. Yeah, Ooh. and you can't, yeah, the floor yeah. is rolling. You can't walk. And that's a bad one. And your doughboy pool is snapping and popping and cracking and going. Well, we didn't have a doughboy. We did that time Kevin and the oh. kids were with us. Well, we had a pool in the middle of our house, and the water came up six feet high on the walls. That was pretty crazy. That was at uh, Big Bear. 
Right. Yeah. I think Kevin was Landers when he was with us that time. That was the Landers one. Then there was the Northridge one when we were in high school, where I rolled so hard that I hit the wall yeah. in my bed. Talk about a rude awakening. Yeah. Talk about throwing your phone at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like earthquakes. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, it's a hard call. I don't like I don't like tornadoes, but I don't like hurricanes. Like I said, with tornadoes, I don't, you get a warning. I don't like uh, earthquakes. I don't like fires. <laughs> I just like it to be hurricanes? perfect peaceful 70 or degrees or uh, ty typhoons or yeah, yeah. bien eliza yeah hola eliza i hope i'm never in one i hope not to okay so they already got hired that's good i hope i'm never in one. well i was thinking sweet jesus <laughs> yeah you know, um, keep you prayed up. <laughs> Bug zapper tomorrow. Oh yeah, that'd be that'd be good. Although tonight, you know, we had we had hamburgers outside and it was yeah, it wasn't bad. Hardly anything. Yeah, I I didn't get bothered at all. But I didn't either. Let's bring it. And I got my electric fly <laughs> I think the flies are only bad at the Mexican restaurant, <laughs> and it's closed so. Yeah. We went to a different Mexican restaurant the other night. I, everybody enjoyed their meal. I like, didn't like mine. <laughs> I got carne asada, and it was like it was like I was eating a rubber plate. It was terrible. So I ordered street tacos, which were absolutely great, and then somebody else that went with us ordered a an eclipse margarita, and that thing was so cool. Let me see if I can find. Picture and that it. person, I think, got a little eclipse. A little bit. <laughs> this is the drink. Can you guys see it? That's a light in the middle, and whatever. An That's an orange. Yeah, but in the middle of the orange is a little tiny ball light, and I don't know how they made it dark like that, but it's really cool. <laughs> Another picture. It was fun. Everybody's doing eclipse themed. And you got eclipse stuff. tacos. I got but one of your eclipses was on the bottom of the plate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mine came and it, it had three tacos on it. <laughs> and only two of them had a slice of avocado. And the guy's like, I'm sorry, let me get you some more avocado. So he brings a plate full of avocado slices. And um, then after I ate, I picked my plate up. And underneath it stuck to the bottom of the plate was my avocado. <laughs> oh, okay. He's watching from the Philippines. Oh, wow. Huh. Very cool. Used to have a my doctor nice. used to be from the Philippines. Well, well, he was. He still from is from the Philippines, he but uh, yeah, he's little. in Vegas. He was he saved my life. Mellow Cat says just a little eclipse. Not missing the flies. No kidding, Mary. I'm with you, girl. Yeah, and I, uh, Mellow Cat has no idea how worried I was that that I was going to make her sick on the way home. A cold here for flies. Mary says they had a earthquake yeah, in Carolina. Indiana. It was 67 leaves on the trees already there. Yeah, well, we're green here. It's beautiful here right now. Shrimp and chicken, fajitas, not too bad. Very good. Our RV project has been on hold since back in the fall, mostly because of the cost of materials keeps rising right along with everything else, especially gas prices. But you know what? The other day, what I do is I check that uh, uh, Facebook marketplace. And there was a guy on there, and he had a bunch of, uh, like, metal hangers, like for floor joists and hurricane deals and all. And I looked at it, and he says, oh, there's got to be 25 there. And I looked at it, I'm like, man, there's a lot more than 25. And I, I told him, I said, well, I'll take them. And so we met him, 
Hey, man, we got a great big box full of them. I showed yeah. my buddy over here that's going to be doing the 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 framing. And he goes, I, I told him about it. He goes, shoot, man, that's a great deal. So he goes, we'll use them. So he said they make it a lot stronger. I don't, the way this thing is starting, it's from the 50s to start with. So it's going to be a tear down and and a beef it up and make it as good as possible. So I want to do as much right as we can without putting this in the, the bankruptcy thing. So Credit card hell. We got to get yeah. some more windows. We, we got to get, let's see, I'm figuring we need um, one, two, three windows and uh, two doors. That's right. The moths. The moths have not been bad yet. Hopefully we're out of here by then. <laughs> no kidding. Well, were you there? Have you been there during the fly season? I got stung by a bee a week ago, Julio said. That's not fun. Yeah. Yes, she said. Our RV project has been on hold since back in the fall, mostly because the cost of materials keeps rising right along with <coughs> everything else. <especially coughs> did I read that? Yeah. That was I did. Moral. Yeah. Yeah, you know, one time I was riding my bike, you know, I was cruising Thank down the freeway, and a bee went in my sleeve, and uh stung me pretty good, and I had another one get me right here, and swelled up. The worst thing ever happened is I was, <laughs> oh, honking the kid. <laughs> I was riding down the road, and all of a sudden, I see something bouncing on the freeway. And all of a sudden, I went like this, and a lug nut off of a car just swiped. Remember that? When I came over, I was bleeding. Mm -hmm. One time when we were going up to the San Bernardino Mountains, Bill was telling me, he goes, one time, one time I was driving up this road, and it goes, a, bill fl a bee flew in the window and landed right there on my shirt. And right when he said that, I'd be flew in the window and landed on his shirt. I'm like, oh, what did you do? And he goes, I went. <laughs> <laughs> it would be odd, though, to be telling that story and then have it happen again. Yeah, on the same I, road. yeah I, I, I would, I would so give funny. that a 10 to 1 odds, would you? 10? <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 million. Yeah. And that's a true story. I never seen flies that bad before as I did here last year. Yeah, they, they're ridiculous. Yep. Well, there's a lot of flies there. It, it, that time we were there during fly season, it was it was brutal. I mean, we we, we have these uh, these test strips or whatever the pest strips. Strips, you know, where they they're in a little. You pull them out and you hang and them up. Them out and hang them. And I mean, those things jet by the black. end of the day, they were jet, jet solid black. black. You, you could, yeah. Well, ESP. Yeah. Well, the B at ESP is what it was. All front of the shack was covered in flies. Yeah. Every time you went in and out, then they got in. Yeah. It's crazy. They it was, would hitchhike in on your clothes. Yeah. Too. It was horrible. Yeah. There's nothing about that Colorado but game. Then the moths. Yeah. The moths were a real bad plague. <laughs> we uh, came home with them in our in our moldings and like you'd open up a hatch a cargo bay and they just fly out at you was crazy bizarre we i would spend as soon as we get off shift at 11 o'clock and then visit with our friends jason and maybe you're like gonna midnight and i would be out i would be there with a jar trying to catch all the moths that were in here because i'm there's no way i'm sleeping with that many moths i catch 30 to 40 moths every night he'd go straight to bed sleep peacefully. yeah <laughs> every night but when we when we got back home, we still had moss. We in did. The, we did. We will be at Bella Mine State Park Wednesday. Isn't that that one down there by the Queen? Bella, yes. So you're yeah, going to be at the yeah, Queen. Hopefully, Blake. we get to see them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. What state is that? I told them area? they should come here, but they already have reservations there. So. Well, they could go there. They could take off for a couple hours and come see us. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're supposed to have more people come in on Wednesday. Yeah, we got more people coming. I took flights. Hello, right guys. Now. Any updates on the machine that makes you dizzy but helps with diabetic neurop neuropathy? Yeah, look. Move your head, dear. So if you look. 
right there. Up. There's the computer, and there's the machines right there on top. So we got two machines right now, and we're getting um, we're getting more and more people that are having problems. So I think we may get a couple more machines. But it's not making him dizzy. No, it doesn't make me dizzy. <laughs> no. no. Yeah, ask ask us anything. I mean, I love talking about it because yeah. I I swear by it. And and the the thing about it is because it's quantum entanglement. Man, I'm really getting good with my what words. Really huh? I use my words. <laughs> anyway, uh, you should have seen tried to see me do that before. Anyway, what's happening is is you could trim your nails and send your couple of fingernails to us, and we can put them in the machine and do healing for you from right here. And I know it sounds crazy. It sounds crazy. I thought it was crazy. Um, I knew that it that it helped with my leg the first time I listened to the frequencies on on YouTube because you could go on Spooky Two on YouTube and you could put in not neuropathy or like I, I did a thing on a polyp in my nose, knee pain, back pain. She even has a there's a frequency. It's like ibuprofen. Right. I'll tell her. I'm starting to get a, my shoulders. I've been having a it's problem with my shoulder. Arm weird. Shoulder, and she'll go over there and flip it on, and next thing I know, the pain's gone. Years ago, backstage, I meet Olivia. I met Olivia, Olivia met John. John. I could not talk to her. Stardust in my eyes. Yeah, her God. daughter. Daughter Chloe. Okay. We were talking funny when it came to mom. I lost it. <laughs> Yeah. You were starstruck. <laughs> kind of like talking to us here on this live, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's an option for some of the finished work. Yes, we've been looking for good usable materials on Marketplace. That's a good thing. You know what? Scavenge. If you, if you scavenge, you'll find we got all kinds. Of, we got brand new windows. Yeah. Still in the plastic, in the, in the plastic with wrap. the screens and everything. Really nice windows. 60 bucks, was it? Yeah. Yeah. For three big windows and a smaller one. Um, Blue Pony, the machines are not available on Amazon. If you go to spooky, the number two, dot com, no spaces, they're all on there and you can purchase them. They don't sell them. You can't, nobody in the States carries them our first machine so you go to that website oh you got to give your code yeah but and then they can get a discount i don't have a code i don't have a code but right now they're doing an anniversary um, oh, okay. special and everything's 11 percent off because they've been in business for 11 years so go check them out yeah so our first machine cost us how much uh 900 900 and then yeah, this last one was a couple hundred right that was 200 and this, the two hundred dollar one's the cheap one. That's but that's with shipping too. Yeah. <laughs> How long yeah. do you have to do a session with the nail clip? So <laughs> the nails we just put in a paper sticker. I date it and I put whose nail it is. You know, mine, Bill's, Cage's. You can even do pets. Anyway, you stick it in a little um, DNA reader. Ants. Ants. Yeah. And it works remotely because of quantum entanglement. And you just run it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's never off. So. Well, thanks for showing up, Paul. I'm up at 4 o'clock in the morning, too. So sometimes earlier. Thanks, Paul. Good to see thanks you on for here. coming on and saying hi. I think I'll hold for when they are 100 years in business for that discount. Yeah. You'd be dead by then. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, the thing the thing is is it's it's not overnight. No. The very first time I used it for the neuropathy on on YouTube, it actually allowed me to walk. Right. Without being an excruciating pain. So if you've not heard us talk about 
this aspect of the frequency thing, you can find all the frequencies on YouTube. There's over 60,000 frequencies, and Spooky 2 puts them out. It's Spooky 2 yeah. on YouTube, and you can listen to them, but they are audible, where with these machines, it's not audible. So Right. You don't you don't hear it. Right. <coughs> but we're we're bombarded by it 24 7 right and she's being done now too right and our ant infestation is gone from Hundreds. like fly season in colorado down to like two or three yeah. a day i see so um which is drastically right, we've that. been we've been doing battles with these but i'm not quitting on that because it's, it's just so out of control that when they're gone and we don't see any for a week then that machine's going to go maybe, into another mode maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want them back and it'll work on any kind of bug any kind of bug at all it's just cagey awesome bug? dna cagey bug it'll work on yeah. cagey bug and now the, the DNA samples, like the fingernails, they say are the best, but you can also use saliva, um, blood, urine. But Anything that you can get the DNA. Hair, but they don't last that long. Those, those modes of DNA, they don't last that long. They, they kind of die off. Where nails, they, they hold longer. So. And when, when I say longer, I mean like four or five weeks. Where all the other DNA samples they'll last maybe three to four days, maybe a week. So. Well, what we should do is a video showing what we have over here. Huh? Mm -hmm. Would you guys like that if we did like a video, kind of giving an overview and that type of stuff? We we've got to start figuring out something to to get some content because I'll tell you what we don't want to bore you guys to death with. Uh, with us going to Walmart or doing laundry and that kind of stuff, like a lot of channels have been doing. Well, we're fun when we do all those things too. Yeah, we. I mean, <laughs> now some people just want to kind of tag along, and I mean, if people would would enjoy that, I I wouldn't be opposed to it. The problem is, is that you know, if 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 ninety percent of the people are like, I don't want to see you do another pair of socks. I I want to. Another pair of socks. I want to see you guys jump off a bridge or something, you know. I want to see you go zip lining. Yeah, but you know, let, there you go. some people really enjoy just the simple facts. Yeah, one or two. You know, if you would like for us to do more content about the Spooky Two, type one. Yeah. If you'd like for us to do more content about daily life, type two. <laughs> and if you don't want us to do either, type three. Or show your food, Mimi. <laughs> so Taylor Rose would like to see. Okay. And Tyler Johnson. So they want to know more about the cookies. Yeah. So. I feel like a lot of people look at me, and I'm very passionate about this, but I feel like a lot of people look at me like, oh, she's weird. But I know that it works. And I've done a lot of in-depth study, and our bodies are all electric. So it just makes sense that we have a frequency that can resonate with something that that machine can generate and do things on a molecular level to put things back in sync. Well, let, let me... I feel like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> let, me, let me say this, too. I, I, hopefully this won't turn some people off, but... It's it's kind of a God thing is what it is. And and it's there's a lot of things in, in this world that we don't know about that we probably should know. It, it, there's there's things that are being kept from us. I guarantee you. And this right here could cure cancer, it could do a lot of things. If you catch things at, at the early stages, you can reverse stuff. I don't know for a fact that that's what it can do. I do know that it helps a lot with the neuropathy. Does it cure baldness or shortness? Leo. Who said that? 
It does have a frequency for baldness. Shortness, yeah. I'm not sure. I don't look that one up. <laughs> what are you too tall for your hair? Anyway, uh oh, yeah. Bill wants to see daily life stuff. Phil does? Thanks, May May. What does May May you are? She thinks it's not weird at all. Everything has a life. Shiro. 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 Is that what I said? Shiro? That's Maddie. Yeah, that's, that's Maddie. Create what you want. I'll tune in. <laughs> well, <laughs> Jason. And, and honestly, <laughs> if you want to know for sure, I mean, a lot of the things that they go on, they definitely want to make money. That's what it's all about. Uh, the, you know, the uh, medicines that people used to take before the early 1900s, people created medicines. And if it didn't work, then people didn't buy it. Well, now people go to a doctor and the doctor says, here, we'll take this. And, and people will take it even though it has horrible side effects or, you know, it, it, it causes you, you know, eyes to bleed and you're throwing up constantly. And you, but you're not depressed you anymore. You know, but you're not depressed anymore. You know what I mean? It's just, it's crazy. One of what, the biggest things about this machine is it's not sold in the States because they can't make money on it. Pharmaceuticals can't make money on something that's natural. And so... I thought it was they didn't want it sold here. They don't. That's no. why you can't sell it because oh. pharmaceutical cannot make money on something that is naturally occurring, you know. Well, we found out about this. We got our first taste of it by going to a clinic and seeing a doctor and getting a just a peek, just a quick peek, you know, look yes, at it. On a flyer. On a flyer. And that's how it that's what kind of said well, that machine, how, how do we find out what that machine is? And we're looking and looking at it. I called this friend of mine that's kind of in on all that stuff. Oh, spooky too. He knew right away. And uh, and then it's amazing. It's kind of like DMSO. There's a lot of people that use DMSO. And There's a lot of people that don't believe in that either. Yeah, but you you know, you go somewhere, you if you've used if it before, used it. you'll know what someone else is using it. So. Um. Let me catch up here. Mamie says, all the meds you need are in your backyard. Exactly what I've said all the time. No focus on diet and building blocks of the human body. That's true. Uh, hey, Desert Schooner. Are John we still said no. the eclipse? We don't have a thing for our... Well, Tigger has one. Yeah, and he's probably going to. Yeah. So Get into Tigger Adventures. He probably definitely will. And just tell him if he doesn't let us have so that Mello video, said, yeah, we'll light his well. motorhome on fire. We'll film it. Burn it. <laughs> <laughs> we know that's a good seller. You're bad. I think they're off. They're not on it anymore. They don't even know it's what we're talking Mello about. Mellow Cat's the one that said building blocks of your diet. Yeah. yeah. Well, everything. Um, also, Blue Pony said frequencies are legitimate. Nikola Tesla developed a frequency that can bring down buildings and cause earthquakes. Yeah. Well, and, you know, Look into uh, airships, blimps. Go on YouTube and, and type in airships and see what you get. The, the, uh, there's just a whole lot of stuff. I mean, what you get, to me, it's entertainment to watch this stuff. Hey, uh, Matt Mortensen. Welcome. How you doing? Anyway, it, it just it's interesting to, like I say, my lunch break. If you guys haven't, if you guys haven't gone on YouTube and watched my lunch break, he he will. He's not a crazy conspiracy guy. He's funny. He he, he makes it kind of funny. At least to me, it's funny, and uh, and it's informative, and it will teach you just how deceived we can be. So, um, Mark says, you know, I wonder. If it was that technology that causing people problems, I think it was in Cuba when they were causing pain in people. They were thinking it was the Russians that might yeah, be doing it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it can be used for a, a weapon. I do. Yeah, um, it, it, hopefully you don't learn how to do that. <laughs> the frequencies that Spooky Two uses, though, they are all 
they will not harm you. Like your body will resonate with the frequencies as much as it needs and then it, it takes what it needs and then that's it. So you can't like overdose on a frequency. Um, and somebody was asking what's it called, the name of it. It's called Spooky 2. Spooky, the number two, no space. Yeah, S-T-O-O-K-Y. Well, hi, Signer. Oh! <laughs> what's that for? Put that over your, your camera. Oh! Camera like that. And then you yeah. can film. Is so, that yours? Did you yeah. That? Yeah, it came with this. Nice. There's a 10 pack on Amazon. They gave this oh. to. A friend of mine did an article on it. Uh, his name is Scott Fox. Talking about the eclipse. Yeah. And he was talking about how to make sure the glasses you get are good ones and not right. just fake ones. And also, he talked about uh, your camera is more sensitive than, than your, your eyes. And so, if you just put your camera up to your glasses, yeah, it can right. actually damage your camera. So, so, use a camera you don't care about. Can I borrow yours? <laughs> <laughs> you can use the old one. I got, I got but, one we um, can use. They have we these can torture. things that you can get too. So, anyway, it's, you want to do that? Darker. You want to use my uh, Pixel Six? You see that it's darker. Just, oh yeah. It's a lot darker on the thing than the other. Interesting. But anyway, so guys, don't use your cameras on your phones to uh, film the eclipse if you know what's good for you. But we're gonna, uh, we're, yeah, yeah, we'll try to do this and we'll share. Uh, thanks. So, yeah, nice thing. I mean, let's see, it's supposed to last for like four minutes, four minutes. right? Four minutes. Well, seconds. full four minutes. Four minutes. It's four seconds. hours from the beginning till right. the end. Yeah. But it's like four and a half minutes of. You think uh, that they'd be selling these all over town? Yeah, and I've, I've seen different reviews on these two. I've really? seen where, like they say, put it on uh, high zoom mode, you get the best effect. You know, otherwise, it's. Does look hmm. very good and stuff. So I think you got to kind of experiment with it a little bit. Yeah. And you know, I don't know. It's just who knows. And Blue Pony wants to know: Are, are you set, set up to receive donations oh. if somebody wants to donate to you? I'll tell you how you donate to us: You subscribe, and you like what you see, and that's donating to us. Yep. We don't want to take money out of people's pockets. That's not. But thank you. We want to help people. Um, we've been we've been blessed for a long, long time. And we're retired. We're on fixed incomes, right? <laughs> so we know how. Yeah, to I think it's a broken it it, uh, income, but <laughs> yeah, we I mean, we're still hard. working. <laughs> we all, you do. Yeah, we're all we, still we, working. Well, we get um, you know, when you do something where you have an affiliate code or something like that, right. you do make right. money and. And so, like Amazon, yeah. know, do you guys yeah, have an Amazon, Amazon store? store so, yeah. see, it doesn't cost people anything to use no. it. Right. And so, those are the best ways to do it, you know. And that's usually so, in our description. Yeah. So, anyway, that's all <laughs> I thought I'd just come over and yeah. photo, uh. photo bomb. Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> Blue Pony, if you, if you <laughs> want to get more information and possibly talk to Darla, like on the photo or something, go to. Uh, Economic Refugees RV at gmail.com and and uh, tell us who you are and uh, and and leave your number or something and we will get in contact with you and then we could I think we'll probably do a video showing because it's it's really cool at night it when is. it's dark and you walk in here because I mean that thing and you could tell I'll be freaking out my my foot would be going like, whoa, whoa, is something going on? Do you see the lights just going sometimes over? Sometimes your body can feel the frequency, but sometimes, you, most times you can't. But with Bill's foot, I'm glad he can feel it because that tells me for sure something's going on. Well, that and the fact that he's been able to walk way more than he, and energy, his energy level has been through the roof. You've been doing stuff you haven't done in years. Yeah. Consistently. Uh, I, lost I actually kicked the shed changes. door the other day yeah. to close change it. Change of dietary changes. No sugar, no junk food, no process. Jason and Amanda. Yep. You guys look great, too, by the way. Good night, Mary and Randy. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, John's in. out here trying to scam people out of tacos. <laughs> out of tacos. <laughs> I can't say I blame Get your them. own YouTube channel, Combs. <laughs> Gosh, this guy's followed us around for what, 50 years now? <laughs> I something like something like that. Pretty close. 40 years. 40 At years. least 40, yeah. yeah. 
It's your fault. You're the one that sold them tires. <laughs> what the, what, why do we deserve this? John is Did you guys get those tornadoes get any friends. closer to you, John? No, they didn't. No? Oh, that's good. We were I know there were some some bad ones, but I think most of those were in C D C and D's in Kansas. A lot of Kansas in yeah, yeah. Iowa and Ohio. So well hey guys, we got over again this week. So anyways, one more time. If anybody has questions more about the rice machines, just or, or fireworks, whatever. Anything Either what? Else, just email us at Okay, well fireworks is one. <laughs> email us at economicrefugeesrv at gmail.com and we will be able to get in touch with you better that way yeah if you want to leave your number or you want to leave you know information so that we can get a hold of you yeah. honestly on our personal cards i have my phone number on it and i'm gonna put it out there and you but can i just don't want to send it if out you email into us, the, yeah we'll know you're sincere well doug and stacy you think I'm that crazy? Who said that? <laughs> Gregory. Hi, Gregory. Yeah, they got like a million subscribers, man. I don't know what he's uh, Maybe I need a hat. Do you remember a day when they used to talk about homesteading? Because I have not seen them talk about homesteading in a very long time. Am, am I wrong in that, Gregory? I'm wondering. <laughs> well, Blue Pony, we appreciate you that you're here. And uh, like I say, we uh, honestly, if we were doing this for money, we'd be stupid <laughs> because I'll tell you what, I think, I don't think we've paid for our first no, we camera. No, we've not. And we never used that camera. Yeah, I, got, I bought this real expensive it Canon. Just, I think what it was was a, a procrastination thing for Bill to actually sit down and start the channel. Like, like I, I generated the account online and we picked out a name and, you know, we were all systems go. We did the interview well, with Brian, 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 Adventure Van Man, Brian. We, we had a thousand subscribers yeah, before, before we, we made a video. On, on the channel. And, uh, and Bill's like, well, I need a camera. Well, I need a phone. Well, I need so if you ever look at, if you look at V1, it's, you're looking at a scared to death <laughs> deer in the headlights. Yeah. Sitting there. Just talking to a camera, so and then and I got it all done. And when I was all done, I I watched it. And I thought, well, you know what? That's staying on there because I don't want to. I I just want to do this. And and you know what? Yeah. Anyone that's kicking it around about doing it, you know what? It starts your own YouTube channel. <laughs> it's real simple. You just get on there and just be yourself. That's all you could do. Hey, Dougie D. Dougie's here. Where? Hey, hey. we were talking about you earlier. Oh, our friendly attitude. Thanks, Gregory. <laughs> well, you know, it's uh, that I'll tell you the best. And his beard. <laughs> <laughs> the best part about it is we we met some really <laughs> awesome people uh, doing this. Let me let me just say this, guys. We have we have. Yeah. Um, before we get offline here, um, thank you everybody that tuned in and watched us and hung with us. <laughs> week after week and hour after hour. But anyway, uh, I also wanted to just say one more time, Tigner Adventures, check out their channel. They're they're awesome. He's he's very he's they're way better than we are <laughs> <laughs> content. And uh May May. Uh, they're doing May, they're on their way uh, I think they're doing over a four thousand mile trip right now. I think it was more than that. And they're they're going it's all the way that. up to the east coast and coming all the way back down and they're there's seven months going to be traveling yeah. seven months and they they do they have <coughs> great content i will say that yeah uh the other thing is may on the run is another channel mm -hmm. if you just like watching videos her videos are not that long but the music is awesome because he does the music she does the uh, editing and the, the footage is really it's just, and mega van mike he's been on it's here drone footage hang on let me finish me oh finish. It's drone footage or it's highway travel. <laughs> anyway, it's good. So, May on the Run, Tigner Adventures, Mega Man Mike. I'm calling the cops when this is over. I hope this is recording. Yeah, because I was assaulted. I have witnesses. You deserve <laughs> Yeah, <it. laughs> with, everybody's a witness now. See how that works? 
See, they're they're all telling me how Amen. nice I am, and then you're being mean to me. Yes, Gregory, you are right. Fourteen thousand miles, seven months. Yep. All right, guys. All right, here I, we go. I love long goodbyes. <laughs> good night, everybody. Have a good week. <laughs>